Hill and Schroeder. So the Lakers cover all of the bases, and they're the clear cut favorite, in my opinion. Yeah, what will be interesting to watch here between now and early next week, Kyle Kuzma is up for his rookie contract extension. That deadline's Monday. And so if he doesn't agree to an extension, then he's playing the season without it, could become a restricted free agent next year. You know, that's a player who, this is an important year for him. You saw him really grow last year. You know, Doris Burke made a great point on my podcast the other day. You saw him learn what a good shot and a bad shot was because he was on a team where the games mattered. Mm -hmm. But I think watching those Kuzma talks in the next few days will be interesting. All right, Jay, well, we'll all, we're always going to talk about what we expect from LeBron and the Lakers, but what is the, the next phase of this conversation for him and his legacy? Because he's trying to add another championship, go back to back with the Lakers. That's what he went to LA for. Jay Rose and I are about to get another heated debate about who's the GOAT, who's the greatest of all time, Jay Rose. You know what's happening? Look, bar an injury, bar an injury, Jay Rose, they're going to win their second. They're going to repeat. It just, and bar an injury to LeBron James, it just feels like, you know, when I write down all the names on a piece of paper, I'm like, damn, they signed KCP back. Wow, they got Kyle Kuzma. Man, they got Dennis Schroeder. Man, they got Montrezl Harrell. Man, they got Marcus Soule. I'm like, well, man, they got Wesley Matthews? Hold on a second. And then I'm watching the preseason games, and I'm like, Taylor Horton Tucker's putting in work like that? I'm like, how, how deep is this team? They're exponentially better than every other team in the National Basketball Association. You can write it down. And LeBron James, less is more. He led the league last year in assists. I think we're going to see the same of LeBron, just his ability as a facilitator to make the game easier for everybody. He can still put his foot on the gas when he has to, but I think we're going to see LeBron have another phenomenal year at facilitating and making the game as simplistic as possible. Does that mean that they're your pick too, Jalen? Absolutely, no question about it. Head yeah. and shoulders. And the thing is, LeBron can actually pace himself. Mm -hmm. It's a 72-game season. He just came out of the bubble. They have so much depth that Jay and I just talked about. And Woj just mentioned that so many players have things to play for, yeah. incentives as well, including Kuzma. So they're going to be eager to play those minutes and put up big numbers. All right. Well, he's played over 1,500 games over 60,000 minutes. So you're right, pacing himself might be okay this season if he can with uh, some of those guys and the depth that they've added around him. All right, you see this crew right here. I believe Jay Will's gonna join us. We're gonna Bay is out. It's got some spice to it this year, guys. 81% of the GMs picked the Lakers to win the title again, which is not an unusual pick, but it's interesting that only the 2018 and 2019 Warriors had more consensus than that. It is a window into how dominant other teams consider the Lakers right now. The GMs also pick Giannis to be the MVP, which trends against, actually, what most media surveys have said. James Harden beat out Ooh. LeBron for, Ooh. quote, player who forces opposing coaches to make the most adjustments. Chris Paul won out over Drew Holiday as the player switching teams who would have the biggest impact. And Miami's Eric Spolstra named the NBA's best coach over Greg Popovich and yeah. Nick Nurse. And then this is interesting. The GMs still consider Steph Curry the best point guard in the NBA, but by a lot less. He only got 30% of the vote this year compared to 90% of the vote the year before. Damian Lillard finished second to him this year. Paul, if you had to pick one guy, you cannot hedge here. You have to vote. For one guy, like the GMs did, uh, who were you picking? Originally, I said Luka Dockage, but if LeBron's the best player and he played point guard, how is he not the best point guard in the league? <laughs> he led the league in assists. I mean, Won the final I, I forgot LeBron just went to point guard, by the way, and he's clearly the best point guard in the league. It's, it's it, Okay, this survey is skewed here. Let me just first say this. What do you mean skewed? It's skewed is in the sense of, like, you just can't just add the best player in the game, the finals MVP <laughs> that led the league in assists, like, and then say he's 11%. So, like, are they considering him a real point guard? Or they're they, just they, saying, I mean, that, don't, that, that doesn't even make sense. He that was don't available make sense. in the they're point Chris, guard they're saying Chris Paul, for the All-Star game so, and All-NBA this year. But, so but he if is he's the guard. best player on this list, but they're talking about when he plays... I, this is He's stupid. The fifth point, this is stupid. Point this is dumb. Hey, this is like the year Bill Russell won MVP and wasn't even on the first team in all NBA. Oh, yeah, that's the type of still like wait. I know this, this is not a LeBron James like this is not, we're not like talking about that. We're just like it doesn't make sense. I, right? I get it. And like Steph Curry and I said it on the broadcast. Like Steph Curry has to reclaim his title as the best point guard. Like when LeBron James got hurt and Kawhi, you just want Warriors fans. No, they hate me anyway. So who gives a damn? But this is what I'm saying. When Bron got hurt, 
and Kawhi won the championship and won the finals MVP. They were like, Kawhi is the best player on the planet. Giannis just won the MVP. Giannis, Braun is probably the third or fourth. You have to show up every single year. Now, he might be the greatest shooter ever, right? Like, he will go down as that, but you have to reclaim your title yeah. every single year. Yeah. And Dame Lillard did some things last year from that point guard spot. This is this is just like boxing. When you don't fight for a year, you get stripped of your title, and yeah, you gotta go back and fight you. for it again. Thank you. It's the same difference. Now we know how amazing Steph Ooh. Curry is, Dame Lillard. They're amazing, but you gotta reclaim that. Dame Lillard has some phenomenal, some phenomenal games. But if LeBron is a point guard, he, he has to be the best point well, guard. Yeah, in the league. league and it's just, oh, whatever. I, who cares? DM survey always fun. Up next, we take an in-depth look at investigating allegations made against LA Clippers team and consultant Jerry West involving the free agency recruitment of Kawhi Leonard in 2019. Johnny Wilkes, a man who claims to be best friends with Kawhi's uncle Dennis Robertson, Not anymore. <laughs> filed a lawsuit in LA County Superior Court against West and the Clippers, alleging that the team consultant owns him. Him $2.5 million in an oral agreement made for helping the Clippers sign Kawhi Leonard. The Clippers issued the following statement, quote, the lawsuit filed by Johnny Wilkes is replete with inaccuracies and the allegations are baseless. The Clippers fully cooperating with the NBA in its investigation, which is standard when these types of allegations are made. They are providing the NBA with evidence that the allegations are false. And Kawhi Leonard himself had this to say after last night's game. How well do you know Johnny Wilkes, and did he play any role in your recruitment to this team, your decision to join this team in 2019? Not at all. Um, that has nothing to do with me. You know, I'm from L.A., uh, and, uh, you know, I grew up here my whole life, and out here, you know, people try to, you know, find any way to, to get some money, so it probably won't be the last. I know a lot of people out here. <clears throat> Richard, this is not college recruiting, right? I mean, we don't usually see runners in the NBA, which is basically what this guy is alleging he was. It's weird because you want to say, okay, was this introduction done during the Toronto, when he was in Toronto, before free agency? That would be the only thing. Like, hey, I'm going to connect you. I'm going to do all of these things. But if it wasn't done during that like time period, there's nothing illegal here. This is professional sports. This is why it's done this way. No one cares. First of all, this is an LA guy. Tell him. He don't got nothing know? signed from Jerry West. Like, look, <laughs> hey, if I get you Kawhi 2.5, then this doesn't have any. This, this, this is. Yeah. It sounds like an AAU uh, uh, deal. Yeah. You know, like if you want my son or, my, or my nephew to come play with you, then it costs this money. That goes on an AAU. I, I know firsthand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Producer Danny literally just said in Richard's IFB, Richard, how much did you get? <laughs> I, I, I got zero. I wasn't that good. See, like Paul, Paul was like number one player coming out as a sophomore and as a you know junior. And as a, he was top you know ten I, you everywhere. Know what I got coming. I got a suit jacket. Yeah, yeah. just because that was the dress uniform with a clip on tie. Yeah, so that's I could, it. So I can. So I, that's what I got. Yeah, Arizona, I didn't get anything. Here's what I would say from an outsider's I obviously was not on the phone with Jerry West or any of these people. I do not know what happened. I will look forward to the results of the investigation. But from an outsider's perspective, if they knew they could, quote, get Kawhi for two and a half million dollars, they would, have paid they would not have given up all of those draft picks for Paul George. Yeah. Right? Think about the price that they paid for Kawhi Leonard. We know the price they paid for Kawhi Leonard. It was a trade deal to the Oklahoma City Thunder that gave them their best young player and picks for the rest of eternity. Man. If all that they were going to get was, oh, this guy will get him for you, man, that, that would have been yeah. getting off late. And then, and then they have that, that, uh, the voicemail uh, as like evidence of Jerry West. And it's like, I listened to it. There's nothing there. It's saying, hey, thank you. Like, we appreciate it. And, you know, he might have said a comment about the Lakers, which was true at the time, right? I'm not going to repeat, you know, the, the show that he was saying that the <laughs> Lakers were, which was true. But there was nothing in that voicemail. So it's like, here's evidence of, like, him calling me and saying thank you. That's not evidence of $2.5 million. And so, you know, maybe there's more out there. I'm Let me ask you. So let's just say there's some legs to this. And, you know, he, he's right on what he's saying. What? Okay, the NBA investigates. Okay, so what happens now? Kawhi, the trade is null and void? No, no, no. Like, what? But, no, no. What, mean, they, what they do it, is... It, they remember, find you. Remember Joe Smith? You get a remember, huge Remember fine? Joe Smith? 
okay. where he had that uh, kind of under the table contract no, right, and right. fires agent, they could penalize him, take draft away picks. draft picks, yeah. right. take away all that okay. stuff. So that's that's the penalty. Now that was hard for Minnesota because Minnesota with KG and all them, they didn't, they weren't a free agent destination, so they really had to do it right. via draft picks. The Clippers, if they were to lose a couple of draft picks. And it would probably be after the draft picks that they were supposed that that the OKC got. So it really put them back like five or six years with draft picks, which could be detrimental. It is funny to see this phone call paraded around because it doesn't actually prove the allegations involved, but also Faceless. it's sort of it's sort of holding up like, oh, look what Jerry West said about the Lakers. Well, Jerry West split from the Lakers is very well documented and well published. And he wasn't so lying. He wasn't lying is, at the time. That is something that is a matter of opinion. But I will just say <laughs> that there's no scandal in the the fact that Jerry West doesn't have the nicest thing to say about the Lakers these days. That is, again, a split that's been